guys welcome back to my channel it's Lisa best life Lee and today um, I'm going to be doing a video of my redecorating above my cabinets I was looking on YouTube trying to find a video that would inspire me with some above cabinet decor and it looks like there's not that much out there and I know modern decorating modern farmhouse um, whatever kind of style these days has cabinets that pretty much go to the top and they have you know pretty crown molding and it just looks absolutely gorgeous well I don't have that <laughs> I have a lot of space above my cabinets and I really can't leave it just empty it just will look empty so as you can see, what I have up there right now is my Christmas decorations, which I'm going to be taking down. And um, I have picked up a couple of things. I went yesterday to Savers just to kind of get, metal, so. I was looking for something black and, and like a metal basket. And I was looking for a regular basket. And I was thinking that I wanted to do something that had an olive like an olive branch type um, decor either I was gonna get some um, faux olives or but I did find something that has an olive on it and I want and I'm gonna use that up there so what I want to do is I just want to show you what I'm going to put up there and um, how I'm gonna decorate that space and hopefully, if you have cabinets um, like that, it'll give you some inspiration. I have to do it, so I figured I would share with you guys. Um, one of the things that I'm going to be trying, which I'm very excited about, is my first try. I got myself a Cricut machine for Christmas. That was my gift to me. Um, and I made my very first, and if you watched my um hobby lobby hall i mentioned that i love roosters so i decided that in that space up there where i have that little sort of wreath thing i am going to put a black rooster up there that i just made my very first project on my cricket and i'm pretty excited about how it came out i have one little area that i need to like kind of poke out um, and I know that I see everybody put like this clear um, transfer paper on top um, and I did I do have the transfer paper but this is like my my paper on here and I'm just gonna kind of peel him off and I'm gonna put him up there so um, yeah I mean he's cute and I got the removable vinyl so I can take him down whenever I'm sick of him so yeah so that's gonna go up there and then i'm gonna show you the couple of pieces that i picked up at savers yesterday um the reason why i went to savers is because i figured you know i probably might want to change it out frequently or if i don't like it and savers you know the pieces were like three or four dollars a piece so it wasn't like i was investing you know into some expensive decor so I'll show you what I got and then I'm gonna just take everything down I had cleaned really well up there before I put my Christmas decorations up so I don't so have really to clean it again I'm just gonna clean what I bought from savers and um, and then just take all that down and just put some um, decor up there so let me get what I bought and I'll show you that all right so I got this really great basket it's it's really nice and big and it's relatively good shape I mean it just probably needs a once over with my lemon oil but the um, everything is like in really great shape nothing's broken and this was $3.99 so that wasn't bad and then I picked up this little wire basket and this was $2.99 and all I have to do again is take my lemon oil and just take my, my um, cloth and just wipe it all down. It's in perfect shape. And this was the 
olives that I was talking about and this is going to be washed really really well but it was only $3.99 and um, it's just really cool and I think it will look really cool up there with the olives um, the olive sort of olive branch so I'm going to really wash this good get that little price tag off of there and then I do have um, a couple of things from downstairs in my own stash that I'm going to play with to see if I want them up there or not. Uh, one is a, a bowl of, it, it's a bowl and it has a big pineapple on it and I love pineapples in my decor. So I'm going to get that. I have another thing that's got like little painted houses I might use, I might not, it might be too much, but um, but we will see how it comes out. Now I do have my, I have my ladder and you want to try to be as safe as possible when you are going up there. Uh, no step stools, no climbing on top of the counter, um, just, you know, trying to be safe so no accidents will happen while I'm trying to do this decor. So what I'll do is I'm going to clean these pieces up. I will um, take down what's up there and then we will, um, you know, you can just watch me kind of experiment with how I'm going to do things. I'm going to set the camera back so you can see me walking around, moving around um, and doing my thing. And then we'll come together at the end and see how it all came out. So hang in there with me. Thanks for watching this whole process and I will, uh, we'll see how it comes out. So I got this nice and clean and just to um, mention that the way that I get the sticker off um, because it can be kind of stuck on there is I use um, I use some kind of a product like Goo Gone or something like that and I just spray it let it soak on there for a couple seconds and then when you're washing you can get it right off and it just comes right off perfectly so I'm excited to see how this is gonna look up there a few cobwebs up there so I'm going to take my trusty little um, duster and just grab those and then I grabbed the little house thing I don't know if I'm going to end up putting that up there but we'll see and this is my uh, pineapple sort of plate that's going to go up there and this is just something I bought at home goods a few years ago I'll give them the little houses and that a once over with my um, lemon oil as well and I have to take the nail I have to take the nail out of the wall where I had that uh, little wreath for Christmas so I can put the rooster there and I'm also going to sort of measure off so that I sort of get it evenly I'll measure like points and then try to put it in between there. All right, we're going to give this a try. I don't know how this is going to come out. But the good news is, is that it's removable. So if anything goes wrong with it, I can just take it off and throw it away and start all over again. So I have my little tool because it has this little tiny um, piece that has to come out. So um, yeah, and I'm basically just gonna wing it and see how it comes out. All right, so now I know why we use the transfer tape. I have 
have another one that's just black. It doesn't have any cutouts. So I'm going to try it with the transfer tape. It, you can't do it that way. It gets all caught together. And there's just no way to do it that way. So I have one. The first one that printed out was had no like openings. So I'm going to put the transfer tape on that one and see how I can do that one. <laughs> Okay, so I see now I got it onto my transfer and now the sticky side is here, but I can place it so that it doesn't all bunch up and stick to itself. So, you know, I'm impatient. I just wanted to do it without going through this step, but I guess I have to. So let's see if it sticks to the wall. I'm gonna stick something up there that's tall so that he will look right. My very first Cricut try, I'm happy with it. I actually am glad that I did the one that's all bold and no cutouts um, because I think it looks good. So I'm just gonna put a couple of things and I'm just gonna place a couple of pieces strategically and we'll see what the outcome is. So here we go. I like him. I like him. I think he's cute. So I think I'll put the basket there because it's tall. We'll see how that looks. houses. I picked these up at a yard sale at some point uh, along the way. I don't know. And I really haven't found a place for them. But they're really, really cute. And I really like them. And I, I do have a tendency to like kind of whimsy in my decor sometimes. And this is kind of whimsy to me. Flowers, antiques, in like a little teddy bear shop. This is a teddy bear shop. So I think it's really, really cute. Um, it doesn't have any, um, it has a little sticker on it there, what does it say? It's just made in China, that's. <laughs> All right, I think I'm just gonna try to put this behind my basket there. Like it. 
they kind of look too busy up there now. Maybe I'll move that wire basket. Actually like the way I put the basket inside the other basket. Yeah. I like the little rooster. I think he's very cute. Uh, maybe that olive oil thing is a little too high. I think I'll put it on a smaller riser and see if I can get it down a little bit. up and then I'll take your tour and you can see the whole thing finished so you can see it behind me I think it looks good I think it's you know it's not cluttered it's just got enough of a personality that I'm going to look at it and you know enjoy it and um, that's what it's all about you know it's not about finding the perfect you know, piece or copying someone else's style. It's about finding things that stir your soul and stir your desire to have a comfort in your home and to come into your home and feel like, yeah, this is home. This reflects me. This reflects my personality. So I think that all of the things that I like to see are there. My the, the cute little houses, the, um, the rooster, the pineapple, the olives for the olive oil, um, and some of the things that were already there um, from before. So, um, yeah, and I'm so happy that I tried out my Cricut machine. I just set it up last night, and I got the vinyl and the um, transfer. I'm glad I got the transfer paper or the whatever it's called. Yeah, transfer paper. I'm glad I picked that up too because you do need it. <laughs> and now it, I'm excited because I can just go crazy with this thing and start, you know, having a ball creating things in the house. So I hope that you have liked this video. I'll show you a lot closer at the end. Um, like I usually do, but I so appreciate you stopping by and watching this video through to the end. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll hit that like button and I hope you'll come back. So thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye for now. So after the next day, after living with it for 24 hours, I came back and rearranged it. I changed the basket uh, and the pineapple. I switched them around and I also moved that olive oil jug in front of the wire basket. I think it looks a lot better and a lot more sort of uh, balanced. So um, yeah, very happy with how it came out. I hope you like it guys.